Hey, 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 everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome back to The Slay TV. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, coming to you live from New York City, friends. We're kicking off the holiday weekend. Well, for those of you in the States, we are kicking off the long holiday weekend. Who's excited? Who's feeling good about having an extra day? Hopefully all of you that are here in the States get that. I know sometimes we don't. I used to have to work holidays, but actually next week I'll be taking off for the entire week myself. So our very own Chaz May will be stepping in in my place. Are you excited for that? There's only one right answer. You better say yes. You better be nice to the substitute teacher. Chaz, how are you feeling? Excited he's coming for my job. He doesn't want me to come back. Is that accurate? Yep. That is accurate. So tune in to see Chaz give the best performances of his life in hopes to take over for Sarah Priebus. Now, Sarah will be back, um, but there will not be a game on Monday because Independence Day. So we're off on Monday. So don't tune in for trivia on Monday. I mean, you can still post on the app, post all your cookout picks and make some money and all of that good stuff. But in terms of trivia, we will be back Tuesday, friends. So we'll see you then. Well, Chaz, we'll see you then. Let's do some shout outs and see who's hanging with us in the chat. Okay, we got Ben Carey saying that he got a win yesterday. Ben Carey, you won trivia yesterday. That's so exciting. The only thing I wanna tell you is I don't see a profile picture um, on your profile. And you won't be able to claim that winning, that win, I should say, if you don't have a completely filled out profile. So make sure you get yourself a profile picture and I hope you've been posting. Because don't forget that little clause in order to get paid from your trivia winning. So I hope to see, hey Ben, it's good. Congrats, congrats on the win, but I wanna make sure you can collect those winnings. So make sure you've got some posts up and make sure that you got a profile picture. So when they come to see who won, they see that you can actually, that you're a real person, that you can claim those winnings. There you go. Oh, yes, Capper7 just cashed out for the first time yesterday. You wanna tell us how much? I'm kinda of curious, I'm, I'm nosy. I just wanna see if you were able to uh, make some money from posting on display, collect those trivia earnings. You don't have to share, no pressure. Okay, yeah, Josiah Sky is here. SJDP103 is here. Who else? Jess, Jess Yadav, Andy Akiko, ooh, Sarkar, Pedro, uh, Salu Khan One is tuning in from India. How cool is that? We got Albert Max One, we got Docs here, Zachary, ooh, ooh. Oh, happy Canada Day, too. Sorry, I'm reading through, there's lots of comments today, so I'm just taking my, my time to make sure that you all feel seen and heard and appreciated by me. Yes, I see all of you here, so I wanna make sure I acknowledge all of you. One more time for the, front, for the folks tuning in late. Oh, I love that nebular, I'm gonna say that in a second. Uh, one more time for the folks tuning in late. No trivia game on Monday, no pre-show on Monday. It's a holiday here in the United States, so we're taking Monday off Tuesday through Friday. Chaz will be here in my spot, hosting trivia, giving away answers for all of you. So be nice, be nice friends. And yes, Nebular, I will, I will go live on display during my trip so that you can see some of the scenery that I'm gonna be seeing in Greece. I'm very, very excited. Okay, happy Friday, happy holiday weekend to those of you. We have a very special independence themed game today. It's not just American independence, it is all kinds of independence, world independence and other countries and then other things that have to do with independence. So if you wanna go study, go ahead, but good luck with that. There's a lot of things that have to do with independence. But yes, we'll have a fun little themed game coming up in 25 minutes. I'm giving away $500 in trivia in just a little bit. I will be giving away one of the trivia answers to make it a little easier for you. But in the meantime, I do wanna ask all of you, since you've been asking me about my trip to Greece, what are you looking forward to this weekend, friends? What are you looking forward to this weekend, hmm? Backyard bashes, inside hangs, or exotic adventures? Chaz, which one of these things most fits what you're doing? Backyard. A backyard bash, baby. You're gonna be barbecuing? I won't be. No. Will you be eating the barbecue? Yes. There we go. Okay, I will be going on an exotic 
adventure for sure. But you know what? Nothing wrong with a little inside hang. It is gonna be hot. There's a heat wave coming in New York City. I got I got that warning from Con Ed that was like, prepare for the heat wave. And I'm like, bye bye I won't even be here. Don't you worry. But nothing wrong with staying in and the air conditioning out of the sun, staying healthy and hydrated, y'all. Please be safe this weekend for sure, whatever you end up doing. What are we doing? 41% of you, you're like, yeah, I am staying safe. I, I got an inside hang happening. 33% of you said you're doing a backyard bash and 25% of you said you're headed to an exotic adventure. In which case I need to know about it. Tell me, what's your exotic adventure? Type it in in the chat. I want to I, take me. No, I, I'm, I, have, I have a pretty good plans. But I take me on a journey on your display profile, maybe, right? I, I would like to see that. Okay, so for those of you that are doing backyard bashes this weekend, or even if you're not, you can still participate in this. I wanna know, what's the best cookout dish in your opinion, okay? I've talked about this on the show before, right? I think these uh, holidays are the perfect time for all the different kinds of salads that aren't actually green salads to make an appearance. I'm talking pasta, I'm talking potato, I'm talking, I don't, what are the other kinds of salads? Fruit. Yeah, Matt, mm, I mean, that is pasta, but yeah, a specifically macaroni salad is delightful. Okay, what's your favorite cookout dish? Hot dogs, hamburgers, potato salad, coleslaw, or watermelon. If you had to choose your favorite cookout dish, uh, which one would it be? Maybe you're in another country and you're like, I'm not really familiar with any of these dishes, in which case you get to experience them through us on display. We'll be posting photos of our cookouts and our classic American dishes, right? What y'all choose? Okay, 46% of you going with the protein. I can get behind that. A good old hot dog and hamburger. Ch Chaz, are you more of a burger or hot dog guy? Uh, You're a hamburger person. No, I know, but I, they don't know that. So I wanted to let everybody else know. Chaz is a big burger. Chaz loves a burger. Chaz, will, Chaz also eats healthy though. He likes, he likes uh, the Impossible Burgers too. Burgers come in all shapes and sizes. They're all delicious. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Honestly, when I'm in a cookout, I need to have, I have to have like a little bit of everything. So I do like a hot dog and a hamburger. A good hot dog is a good hot dog. And oof, I love like sauerkraut and mustard on it. I'm kind of sad I'm gonna be not having cookout food this weekend, but I'll be eating like Greek salads and spanakopita and ooh, what's the fried cheese called? Saganaki. Oof, I'll be eating my own good stuff, don't worry. 32% of you said potato salad, 8% said coleslaw, and 11% said watermelon. Uh, friends, let me know what, again, we, we sort of pulled you all, asked for your weekend plans, but feel free, get more specific in the chat. Tell me what you got going on. Are you hosting? Are you gonna see the fireworks? Are you located somewhere else and you're not celebrating at all and it's just a normal weekend for you? Let me know in the chat. What are your plans this weekend? Maybe you're just going to see a movie. Maybe you're hanging out with friends or family. <laughs> Everybody's weighing in, I love it. Um, Salukan1 says, I'm feeling hungry now. I know, it's kind of uh, not very nice of us to do this before lunch. <laughs> Definitely uh, salivating a little bit as I was reading those choices. Who else? I saw some other stuff. Oh yeah, Lang Louis said, cheeseburgers, yummy. Yeah, what kind of toppings do we? We ketchup people, mayo, mustard, no, no condiments pickles, uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, I don't know. What do you guys like on your burgers? Cheese, of course, what's the best kind of burger cheese? Chaz, what's the best kind of burger cheese? Uh, cheddar. cheddar, okay. I Sometimes, every once in a while, I'll do a blue cheeseburger, but that's not like something you would do at a cookout. I'm a crazy girl, so crazy. Oh, India Kiko said the wife's out of town, so I'm having pizza delivery every night. I love that. What kind of, what's your pizza order? Pepperoni, plain, something something extra special? I don't know, let me know. Lauren Killer said sauerkraut. I too am a big sauerkraut person. Cali Puppy, Boston Pops and Fireworks. That sounds like a lot of fun. Fidiotic, a pub and a brewery call, crawl planned. That's fun too. People are living it up this weekend. This is exciting. Thank you, Dude on Wheels. I appreciate that. Friends, we have just been chatting about what everyone's got planned for the holiday weekend. Obviously, holiday only here in the States. Uh, but yes, because of that, there will be no 4th of July game on Monday, okay? Everybody take the day off, no pre-show, no trivia game. We'll be back here on Tuesday with your regularly scheduled programming. And today's game will be Independence Theme. So that's coming up in 20 minutes for 500 bucks. 
and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. In just a moment, I will give you a trivia answer as well. But in the meantime, I do wanna talk about how you can earn money on display just by posting. Uh, yes, your posting gets you paid. Plenty of things to take pictures of this weekend, right? Lots of cookout dishes, it sounds like, fireworks. Honestly, get some cool video of the Boston Pops. That sounds awesome, throw it up on display. So I expect to see tons of great content here for when we start showing things off again next week. But your posting helps you earn money here on display. And again, Capper 7 just cashed out for the first time. The winnings add up. The, the earnings, the winnings, all of it adds up. It's a little something that you, you know, get to make just by having a good time on a social media app. Who knew? And you don't have to have a ton of followers either. So let me tell you how you do it. Okay, so now you're posting. And basically, you'll notice that in your timelines or feeds, every three posts, there's an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. So once you're posting, your content's circulating and it just sort of passively starts to earn money that way. Make sure you're posting to communities too. I've been saying that all week long. So post to your own profile, post to communities. That way you have a nice little balance of dividends payments helping you to earn some money. Okay, the second way that you earn money here on display is the support me button. This is a little yellow S, it says support me. It's on the bottom right of another creator's post. So you tap this to help other creators get paid. What happens when you tap that little button is that you're taken to an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display, 50% to the creator that you've just supported. So all you gotta do essentially is you tap the button, you watch an ad, it's usually like 15 seconds and you've just helped a creator get paid with your time. No money out of your wallet or your display bank account. You're literally taking the time to watch an ad and you've helped that creator get paid. So make sure you're doing that. All right, and the third way that you get paid here on display is by inviting your friends. So tell them to come join us for trivia, which is coming up in about 20 minutes, all right? Get them in here. So what happens is when you text your friends, you get 10% of whatever they end up making on this app. Here's how you do it. You go to your main menu again, okay? You're gonna tap invite your friends. And then you've got a couple of different options here, but these links and codes are unique to you. So you gotta use it when you're sharing about display, otherwise we don't know how to trace someone to you. So if you brought them here, I want you to, I want you to get credit for it. I want you to get that 10%. Because if somebody ends up making $100 on this app and you brought them here, that's $10 in your pocket. So make sure that you're using your codes and you're doing it properly and tell them we got trivia coming up, a very special independence themed trivia game. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. Yes, hello, 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 everybody. Okay, let's let's see. Uh, wow, people are talking about the questions I see, yes? Uh, some people want easy questions, some people want hard questions. You know what, we try to give you a little bit of everything. Some days the payouts are bigger, some days they're smaller, so it really just depends. You never know what day is gonna be what, and isn't that the fun of it? Some days you, you're, you're getting so close, and you're like, oh my God, I can taste a win, and then you do it. And other days it's like five people walk away with the money and that's like a hundred dollars per person. To me, that's the fun. All right, yes, Ben Carey, exactly. Trivia is awesome. I'm so glad you've been enjoying it. All right, well, I'll help you enjoy it a little bit more. I'm gonna give you that answer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's give you a sneak peek of what an independence themed game looks like, shall we? All right, so here's the real question eight from today's game. I'll ask it to you, you're gonna attempt to answer and then I'm gonna reveal the answer so that you have it for today's game, all right? No risk here, none at all. Maybe you just feel a little bit smarter if you got it right. Okay, here we go, here's question eight. By what year had the largest empire in all of human history peaked in size? 1858, 1914, 1920. By what year had the largest empire in all of human history peaked in size? 1858, 1914, 1920. Do you know it? Well, first you gotta know what the largest empire in all of human history is. Oh, it's one of these double headers. You gotta know two things. Okay, so if you know that, then you have to know what year they peaked in size. So any of my history buffs, this one is definitely for you. And I will say that there's probably a bit of history today, right? We associate independence with history, both American and international, but there's gonna be some other fun stuff mixed in there as well. So let's see what my friends are choosing. We're a little all over the map here today. Pardon my pun, but we are. We got 44% of you tapping 1914, and then an even 27% saying 1858 or 1920. So which 
is it? Which one is it? Well, the largest empire in all of human history would be the British Empire. And the British Empire peaked in size in 1920. 1920 is your answer. 27% of you got that. 1920 is your answer. 27% of you got it. So pat yourselves on the back. But now all of you have the answer for today's game. So if you got that, brag about it in the chat. Let me know how you knew it. Otherwise, you can say, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate you. I really needed that one. Uh, Lang Louis said, yay, I got it right. Uh, ben Carey got it right as well. Uh, Sandeep, that's right, it's 1920. Chota Beam got it right. Uh, Chico 99 FB, I knew it was the British Empire. I had to choose between 1914 and 1920. Uh, all right, well, now you all know it. So there you go. Now you all know it. Do my bookie, don't be sad. Now you got it, okay? So 1920 is your answer for question eight today. All right, now let's dive into the easy part of making money on display again and show off some of your original content before we get into the holiday weekend. Let's do it, here we go. Here's our first photo. We got this one from Lorso. A blessed new month to all. Yes, happy July, everybody. No matter where you are in the world, it is July at this point. So I hope you all said rabbit, rabbit this morning. I taught you that a couple shows. Maybe it was like last month I, I talked about rabbit, rabbit. But if you say rabbit, rabbit, it brings you good luck on the first of a new month. Um, and Lorso is wishing us all a beautiful month. I love that ivy around the tree. It's beautiful. Okay, next we got this one from the Owl Queen. Always stunning images of owls and other wildlife and animals from the Owl Queen. Uh, this is a baby owl. Crazy. The Owl Queen, as you can tell from her name, really, really knows her stuff about owls. So you can learn a lot from her page. Next, we have this one from Jenny Girl. Another animal photo I can't get enough. Um, she said, the summer of brotherly love. And you can kind of see it there, but there's two little kitties loving each other so so cute they look identical um and i love it you know me if i was cat photo to be had i will be sharing it okay let's go to our next photo we've got this one from chrysanth a little gorgeous unedited beauty as she's saying we love an unfiltered photo this one didn't need any editing right it's perfect the way it is oh the wildflowers are out maybe get into nature this weekend take some photos get them up on display Earn some money. All righty, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Trivia is hard, friends, this is easy. Okay, next up, we've got this one from Moonlight. Another person saying, hello, July, happy July. Look at that pool. That is summer in a nutshell to me, right? A nice big pool, all the families and the kids gathering. I love those trees. Really long, thin tree trunks. That's a this is a cool photo, I love it. Moonlight, hello, July. Rabbit, rabbit, everybody, okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Is that, is that your host from next week? Chaz, Chaz and I are bonding in the city. That was taken this morning. Chaz and I snapped a quick pic. He put it up on display and I was like, I'm gonna share it because this is my little partner in crime here. Okay, so guys, as a reminder, next week, Monday, we're not gonna have a game, okay? We're off for the holiday, so no game, no pre-show. Tuesday through Friday, Chaz will be here giving away an answer prior to the game. He'll be hosting trivia for all of you. And coming up in 10 minutes, we have a brand new independence themed trivia game for $500. I'll see you all there.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to an all-new game of Display Trivia. I'm your hostess, who's ready to give away the mostess, Sarah Priebus. And we are coming to you live from New York City on this beautiful Independence Day weekend. Yeah, it's America's birthday, but no, I did not get her a card. What? She didn't even text me on mine. No, I'm more excited about celebrating independence in general. Governments are independent, sure, yeah, that's cool. But were you able to take yourself grocery shopping without spending all your money on cookies and booze? Then congrats, you're doing it, and you're doing it well. You're independent, woohoo! So it's one thing to declare your independence, but it's another thing entirely to be independent. And I'd like you all to be able to do well all on your own in this game today. So here are the rules. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just keep playing. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're holding your phone vertically, your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have a completed profile. And now, just to make sure we're gonna be okay out there on our own, for a real quick practice, tell me, would you rather declare independence, declare a winner, declare bankruptcy. Which one would you rather? And I do declare that this is going to be a mighty fun game today. 77% uh, of you going for the winner, of course, and I see you've got this all on your own. So let's do it. It's time for Display Trivia. Quick reminder to everybody that there will be no game on Monday as we celebrate Independence Day here in the States, but we'll be back on Tuesday. Let's do some shout outs before we get into this quiz today. Who's here? Hey, Raza. Hey, Ryan Taylor and Suvik and Heyon and Abish. Whittle Monkey's here. Zeus 99. Paul Tuckett. Yes. Happy Canada Day, too. So much to celebrate. Love it. We love our Canadians. We love everybody. Thank gosh that we have a global audience. It makes me happy. And in today's game, we will be celebrating all kinds of independence from everywhere and everyone. So, you feeling good? You feeling ready? Let's do it. Question one. On what day do Americans celebrate independence? July 4th, Passover, Pasta Carbonara. Do you know it? <laughs> okay, so July 4th is the day when we celebrate independence, but on what day do Americans celebrate codependence? Uh, let me text my bestie and ask her. Uh, when is Codependence Day and what are you wearing? Well, I'm only gonna do it if you're gonna do it. Well, it looks like 95% of you didn't need to consult anyone. You got it all on your own. Question two. In 2004's National Treasure, Nicolas Cage decides to steal the Magna Carta, the Rosetta Stone, the Declaration of Independence. What does he steal? Okay, uh, next, Nick Cage, please steal all the tax laws. Oh, and also the do not admit list from my local Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I got into an altercation once with one of the performers. Don't wanna say whom, but his last name rhymes with sneeze. I totally had enough tickets for that ball, by the way. In this blockbuster hit, Nick Cage steals the Declaration of Independence because his character believes that there's a treasure map on the back. This quiz is no map, but it is leading 97% of you to the right answer so far. Question three. The American flag colors would likely produce what new color? Green, violet, orange. What new color would be made from our flag colors? Bet none of you thought you'd get to go to art class today, did ya? Remember the most important rule of art. You can't spell fart without art. Oh, and also have fun and do your best. The colors on the American flag are red, white, and blue. Red and blue create purple, and adding white to that would yield a lavender hue of violet. Oh my goodness! 19% of you making this game your canvas today 
That's right, we're talking all the colors, friends, all the colors making violet, but let's do the next one. Let's paint with the colors of this quiz. <sighs> Question four, which is not a synonym for independent, sovereign, autonomous, silly, which is not a synonym for independent. This feels like a uh, good enough time as any to make my own declaration. Oh, no, no, I'm not declaring independence. I just have a few things that um, I need to get off my chest. <clears throat> we hold these truths to be self-evident, that guac should never be extra. On days you aren't feeling well, calories and desserts shouldn't count. And all those brownie points we've all been accruing, now you can turn those in for cash. And finally, no more homonyms. They just make life more confusing, and life is already confusing. All right, um, I asked Chaz to sign this, but he just wrote the word stop. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you have it. If something is independent, it is also sovereign and autonomous, but not silly. 86% of you got that one. Question five. Which artist does not have a song titled Miss Independent? Neo, Foo Fighters, Kelly Clarkson. Tap your answer. Okay, but last I checked though, she's now a doctor independent. Yes, girl, you get that postgraduate degree. No, she's not a medical doctor, but you will still give her the respect she deserves. Miss Independent gets a shout out by Neo and Kelly Clarkson, both of which scientifically proven to be absolute bops. 90% of you got it. Question six. The first revolution in the Americas to follow the US was Haiti, Mexico, Chile. The first revolution in the Americas to follow the US, the US. It looks like the U.S. may have paved the way for a wave of Western Hemisphere independence. But keep in mind, there are probably a few American trends we recommend other nations do not follow. Those include having Florida. Oh, I mean, there's plenty of others, but that, oof, that is the big one. Haiti was the second nation to revolt, and they did so between 1791 and 1804. 77% of you got it. Question seven. Author Thomas Friedman says no two countries with this have ever gone to war. Democracy, McDonald's, universal health care. What did he say? Yeah, it's cause they're not fighting over french fries. Look, if they fall into the bottom of the bag, they're free game. That fry is in no man's land. But this is true. Social scientist Thomas Friedman's McDonald's theory says no two countries with democracy and capitalism will not go to war with each other because, well, they'd like fries with that, please. 81% of you got it, really aiming to supersize your winnings in this game today. Question eight. By what year had the largest empire in all of human history peaked in size? 1858, 1914, 1920. The largest empire. Yeah, that's right. This empire was so big that the sun never set on it, meaning it was always daylight somewhere in the empire. Proof that it really is not where you start, a small collection of islands, but where you are going, uh, everywhere. It is the British Empire, and by 1920, it encompassed 24% of the Earth's total landmass and nearly a quarter of the global human population. Dream big, I guess. 89% of you doing just that. Two more to go. Question nine. Which is not true of the person who led the Indian movement for independence? He practiced celibacy, he was educated in England, he died of starvation. Not true. Please note, he practiced celibacy, but he never perfected it. Luckily, he got really good at leading his people to freedom through nonviolent civil disobedience. And this man was Mahatma Gandhi, who, although he went on many hunger strikes in his life, died by assassination. He was born in India, educated in England, and used that English legal education to lead his fellow Indians to statehood. Ooh, a killer question. Killer question here. But 28% of you got it. Can you make it through one more? 
Who is ready for the final question? Question 10. Which celebrity shares a surname with a signer of the Declaration of Independence? Reese Witherspoon, Denzel Washington, Janet Jackson. Last one here, you got this. In total, 56 people signed the Declaration of Independence, which is crazy because I couldn't even get five people in the office to come to my improv show. Better luck next time, I guess. Of the 56 signers from the 12 colonies, no one named Jackson or even Washington. Yeah, George Washington did not sign. They did not lend their signatures. But John Witherspoon of New Jersey was there to step up to the plate. Who? 32% of you got that one. But let's see how you all fared in today's game. Was that enough for a win today? You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge, and you're gonna get paid, 39 of you. Shout out those scores in the chat. Let me see it, 39 winners, baby. Friends, a reminder, we will not see you on Monday. We will see you on Tuesday. Actually, Chaz will see you on Tuesday because I'm going on a vacay. Uh, friends, let's see it. Widow Monkey, four out of 10, who else? wants to brag about a win. Oh no, dude on wheels, eight out of 10, but neither of the questions that I got wrong were the killer questions, that's good. Bubble Bass won, yay! Chico 99 FB won. That's so exciting, Depp Fan got a nine out of 10. Hefe says, rabbit, rabbit, capper seven, only two wrong. Oh my gosh, the winners have to get 10 out of 10, Chad. That's how you have to get all 10 questions in order to be a winner in this game. Why Sirach won? Congratulations, Vikash4554. Friends, stay safe this weekend. Have a very happy Independence Day weekend if you are celebrating. We'll see you back here Tuesday. Chaz will. Bye. It's Sarah Priebus reminding you to join me every single weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern for Display Trivia. Answer all 10 questions correctly and win part of that $500 jackpot. And don't forget to invite your friends.